Well, we did it. We made it through an entire year of online and remote learning here at Clark College. Congrats, Clark students. It's been a challenging year for everyone, experiencing a world mostly through a computer screen. But we're finally seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. I'm Michelle Raymond, the director of Archer Gallery and Clark Art Talks at Clark College. We've spent the last year moving our programming entirely online, providing exhibitions and Clark Art Talks virtually through our website, www.archergallery.space, and through regular Zoom events. We've installed and opened three exhibitions, hosted artists from Pittsburgh to Oakland, and engaged with hundreds of our Clark students and our greater Clark College community. Though this is not exactly what we had envisioned for our year, we're so proud of what we've been able to accomplish. Heading into spring, we're looking forward to the continuation of Yulia Pinkusevich's stunning and surreal show, Calm Under the Waves in the Blue of My Oblivion. In June, we will be hosting our annual juried student exhibition, one of our favorite events of the year. We also have several upcoming Clark Art Talks featuring renowned Cuban-American interdisciplinary artist Christina Victor, fantastic New York City abstract painter Richard Tinkler, and finally a talk by Tamara Seal, a Southern California sculptor and installation artist whose work with light and color will astound. Archer Gallery and Clark Art Talks are looking ahead to brighter days beyond the pandemic, where we can be together again on campus and in the physical gallery space. But until then, we're so grateful to have our website archergallery.space as a platform for bringing our Clark College community together through art. If we can't be in the gallery together, let the gallery come to us. Come check us out online and experience art like you never have before. See you there. Hi Clark College, my name is Mila Smook and I'm a representative of the Associated Students of Clark College or ASCC Student Government. The ASCC Student Government advocates and represents the students of Clark College by serving as a liaison between students and faculty, staff, administration, and the community. By involving students at the college, we seek to enhance the community through leadership respect for difference, engagement, and service. The ASCC student government is recognized by the Board of Trustees as the sole representative body of Clark College students. We have been happy to serve as your student government representatives for the past fall and winter quarters, and we're excited to continue this spring. We are also preparing to pass on our positions to the next year's student government and we are currently accepting applications. You can find the details on the student government webpage on the Clark College website. The qualifications required are that you must be currently enrolled in eight credits or more at Clark College. You must possess and maintain a 2.5 cumulative grade point average at Clark College. And you must have completed a minimum of 12 college level credits at Clark College by your time of application. But for now, we're here to help you engage with our campus community. We encourage you to connect with us if you're interested in serving in committees, joining clubs, or having your voice heard on campus. You can learn more about us and find our contact information on the ASCC Student Government webpage on the Clark College's website. We meet once a week to discuss student issues, current events at the college, and make decisions as a governing body. We encourage you to join us virtually from the Clark College events calendar. We look forward to representing you and working with you this quarter. Hi there, my name is Justin. I am the president of Christ Club at Clark College. We are so blessed to be able to welcome you to Christ Club in spring quarter 2021. Hi, I'm Joel. I'm the vice president. Hi, my name is Jeremy and I'm the secretary. We have two Zoom meetings a week. Each meeting per week covers the same content. There are three things that comprise a meeting. 
time to socialize, Bible study, and apologetics. Jeremy, you're here. Glad to see you could make it. Hi, it's great to be here. So how are you doing? Oh, I'm doing great, actually. I finished finals and did pretty good, but definitely not perfect. You? After that, we open our Bible and we read a passage and discuss our observations together. Finally is the apologetics. 1 Peter 3.15 But in your hearts set apart Christ as Lord. Always be prepared to give an answer to everyone who asks you to give the reason for the hope that you have, but do this with gentleness and respect. The word for defense, 1 Peter 3.15 uses apologia, which from the Greek means to make a rational defense. The apologetic content covers evidence for Christianity, including philosophy and history. We must tell you that we are non-denominational. Christ Club is just about learning about Jesus. We believe that all Christian churches are united under a basic understanding of the gospel, which is composed of faith in a minimum of three elements that are salvation-bearing. Jesus' identity, his sacrificial death, and resurrection. For example, Romans 4, 24-25. But for ours also, it will be counted to us who believe in him who raised from the dead Jesus our Lord, who was delivered up for our trespasses and raised for our justification. The famous verse, John 3, 16 says, For God so loved the world, he gave his one and only Son, so that whoever believes in him will not perish but have eternal life. Romans chapter 3 says that all people have sinned and deserve to be punished. Sin is the wrong things that people do. But Jesus took the punishment for sin on himself. People just have to believe the truth about him to be saved. Jesus is God the Son, because God is not just God the Father. The Bible says in John 5.18, Not only was Jesus breaking the Sabbath, but he was also calling God his own Father, making himself equal to God. The Bible also says that only God can be equal to God. Jesus became a man, becoming the God-man, still able to die as a human. We don't have to, can't, and shouldn't expect to completely understand the creator of our time-space continuum and only need to be willing to accept God's truth that Jesus was fully God and man. Jesus died on a cross, being a sacrifice for sin, but he did not stay dead. God raised him back to life. Now he offers salvation to anyone who will believe in who he is and what he did. The Bible says, Ephesians 2, 8-9, For it is by grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not from yourselves, it is the gift of God, not by works so that no one can boast. Romans chapter 3 and 4 are also all about salvation by faith in Jesus. We'll be putting our meetings on the calendar for Clark College. They're located, steps are on here, farthest right in the top corner of clark.edu. Then click on the link saying events at Clark. Our email is here, priceclub.atclark at gmail.com. Thank you for watching and we hope to see you there. Hi, my name is Josephine Larry, or most people call me Jojo. I am the current club president of the Japanese club and these are my other officers. Hi, my name is Chelsea Lee. I am the current vice president of this term's Japanese club. Uh, hi, my name is Christian Shuckman. I am the secretary and I handle the uh, email and things. Hi, my name is Andrew Beard, and I'm the current historian for the Clark Japanese Club. Hi, my name is Marissa Malcolm, and I am one third of the club's social media team. I run the Instagram. Hi, I'm Maya. I run the club's Twitter.
my bad. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jacob Bennett, and I run the Clark Facebook page. Um, so our purpose is to actually spread authentic Japanese experiences while having fun and then engaging with our club members. We meet every week from two to three on Zoom and everything's virtual still. So any events that we'll have or anything we require, we will either send it or have other methods of giving it to you guys. So look forward to that. And then some of the activities we did, um, Chelsea will explain. Yeah, so we meet up once a week, every Friday, and typically every term we have about two to three big events. And then on the off weeks of those, we just kind of get together, play a bunch of online games, listen to music, and just hang out together in Zoom. For the big events so far, we have planned um, the Soccer Festival. It's a huge event that Clark holds every year. We're going to be a part of it. We'll be singing a Japanese song, so definitely check it out. Um, there's going to be other activities that are all Japanese related. So if you love Japanese stuff and springtime, definitely attend that one. Another event we have is we're planning a event where we send packages to our club members. We'll send out um, little fans and little paint paint pots and yeah, we'll just meet up in Zoom for that event and just paint together, learn calligraphy, kanji and all that and it'll just be a fun time. Um, you don't have to know any Japanese or be enrolled in any Japanese classes to be a part of our club. And honestly, if you are just looking for something to do or just wanna make some friends, definitely join our club. And then if you want to reach out to us or follow us to see when we're meeting or a reminder, our social media pages will tell you where to find them. Yeah, so the Instagram is clarkcollege.jpnclub. You can find us on Twitter at, at clarkjpclub. And our Facebook page is just the Clark College Japanese Club. Then that's it. I hope you guys join. I hope to see some new faces next quarter. Hello, I'm Laura Nagel, one of the reference and instruction librarians. Clark College Libraries consists of Cannell Library on the main campus and the iCommons at CTC. Many of our resources are available online as well. We provide access to information, research help, and a variety of study areas. We have thousands of books, CDs and DVDs, magazines and newspapers, and textbook course reserves available at the library. We also have online databases where you can find articles, streaming videos, eBooks, and more. If you don't find what you want through the Clark Library, you can request items both physically and digitally from other libraries. All of this is available to you for free. Okay, a few things have changed in the last year. Here's the scoop. Physical library remains closed due to COVID-19. Unfortunately, that means no study rooms or access to our computer labs. Although the building is closed, we are still working hard to provide Clark College students with the resources and services they need. You can request books, laptops, DVDs, CDs, calculators, and more from the library and schedule an appointment to pick them up from campus. More details about how to place these requests are available on the library's website, library.clark.edu. Need access to digital materials? Use your Clark computer or lab account username and password to sign into your library account. You can do this on the library's homepage under My Account. Once you're logged in, you can access thousands of ebooks, articles, and streaming videos. As a Clark College student, you have access to over 70 databases. If you're a fan of educational films and videos, you might be interested in one of our newest databases, Academic Video Online. We wish we could safely work with you in person, but in the meantime, Clark librarians are available to support you and your research needs virtually. You can chat with a reference librarian 24-7 on our Ask a Librarian service. You can also email us, or you can drop into our virtual support Zoom room. Behind the scenes, Clark Library staff work to make sure that print and electronic materials are available and accessible for you. Library staff also help meet your needs by accessing interlibrary loan articles and troubleshooting online resources.
We are happy to help whatever question you have. Do you want to be a leader? Help others? Lead campus tours? Work Clark events? Help at orientation? Or help students get started at Clark? If you are a friendly, team-minded person who loves to help people, then you should be a student ambassador. I think that the experience you gain working as a student ambassador is really unlike any other. I've learned so much already and grown both as a student and a person. What's made me really um, appreciate my position is being able to assist students when they are feeling a sense of anxiety or fear in this application process. It's a great way to get experience and to really know the college. One of my most favorite moments working as a student ambassador has been when I got to share my college experience with high school students of color. I love working with students, so it was for sure one of my most memorable moments. My favorite moments as an ambassador this year have been getting to know my team, and getting to represent Clark at our events, such as our Savoring Excellence event. To be ambassador, you need to be an enrolled in at least six credits each term and be at least 18 years or older. Be enrolled for the entire 21 to 22 academic year. Have at least a 2.5 GPA. Enjoy working with people and be willing to learn. Want to know how to sign up? Visit our ambassador page at www.clark.edu question mark ambassador for more details. Applications are due by May 21st. We can't wait for you to join our team.
walk to the world of STEM. I am your president, Vin, and I will guide you towards creating something magical and unique with your hands and building a foundation filled with expanding creativity and social unity. Here in our two program, we strive towards our paradoxical goals, cultivating a fiery competition while also formulating a community worth calling family. In the heart of one of our programs, the engineering program, we pit teams against each other in a competition to create a unique, complex, and well-engineered product with set guidelines. At the core of the Neural Girls and Geek program, our aim is to connect the community reaching outward to many individuals that are passionate about the world of STEM. We currently meet at 11 a.m. every Wednesday. For more information, please contact our two advisors, Carol and Tina, for Zoom meetings and further information. Thank you, and we can't wait to see you there. Hello, I'm Janice Taylor, the Program Manager of Tutoring Services, and I would like to welcome you to the Clark College Virtual Center. We're going to start by showing you how to locate us. To begin, you go to clark.edu and find the Clark College homepage. From there, you will go to the directories icon on the upper right-hand side of the Clark homepage. When you click on this, the directories will open up. Go down to the T for Tutoring Services, click on that, and you will get to our main homepage. Click on visit the virtual tutoring center to view tutor schedules. This will take you directly to our virtual tutoring center. There you will find links to all of our current schedules for the quarter, helpful information about our services and how to utilize them, and direct links to our tutoring Zoom sessions. Click on any of these during the correct date and time to visit the tutors directly. Let's go ahead and visit the center now to meet some of our helpful staff. Hi everyone, I am Angelia and I am part of Tutoring Services Front Desk. When you come into the center, you'll be greeted by the front desk and all of our wonderful tutors. We will ask that you send us uh, information in the chat. This information is sent privately to the front desk staff and is confidential. Um, and now we'll give it over to B to talk about the information we'll need. Hello, when you come to the Turing Center, the information we ask is your first and last name, your student ID, and the class that you are working on. And sometimes we do ask the instructor's name, depending on the class. And then after that, we put you in a breakout room where you get to work with one-on-one -on -one tutor. And we offer 30 minutes for, the, for working with a tutor. However, we add the yeah, time depending on the circumstances. Hi, I am Nathan. Um, I tutor American Sign Language. With language tutoring, you can do the setup is whatever you prefer. If you want to meet with a tutor and talk about a homework assignment or ask questions about grammar, or if you want to show up and maybe just practice and speaking the language or signing the language, um, it's whatever setup you prefer. Hi, um, my name is Regina and I'm your web development tutor. As a tutor, I'm here to help you become a strong independent learner. And like it was mentioned before, our tutoring sessions last about 30 minutes, but if you do need more help, we can always come back to you after we're done helping other students. You're always welcome to stay in the breakout room while you wait for us to get back to you. Ultimately, we're here to help you. So if there's anything you need, let us know. Hi, my name is Chris and I am the program support supervisor for tutoring services. And this is just a glimpse of the many support services that we provide for most of the courses that are offered here at Clark College, including a separate virtual tutoring center that's dedicated to accounting and business classes. 
Additionally, if there are subjects that we do not have support for in either of our virtual tutoring centers, you can also access etutoringonline.org with your Clark credentials and receive tutoring support there. Thank you for taking the time to join us today and we hope to see you soon. Thank you. Bye. Bye.